Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and welcome back to the next part of our exploration of Kerbal Space Program and our attempt to make our own mech jab, our own autopilot and our own landing platform that will basically make things as easy as Elon Musk's SpaceX. Basically we're going to be launching rockets automatically, we're going to land the rockets automatically, we're going to go to other planets and other moons automatically and we're going to make everything using Python. So in the last part I just briefly talked about telemetry and how to measure things. Today I want to really show you one simple thing, how to make a little box right here that will display all of the telemetry stuff just so that you can actually measure and kind of see things on the fly instead of just going to your other box um, and look at your programming script. You can just actually measure and see everything here and you can even add things like buttons. All right, so let's start by basically adding these two lines. This is kind of all uh, we need to just start the actual canvas or to start visual representation of stuff um, in the game. Um, this will kind of always be similar, except for, of course for this, which is just a name. Uh, we then are going to create the size of the panel, for example. And to do this, I'm going to add these two lines. Uh, this is once again from the tutorial page uh, from KRPC. So here we have a screen size, uh, which which is essentially uh, for us to transform a screen size of something. And then we're going to add the panel. It doesn't tell you where yet, it just says somewhere out there in your game there's going to be a panel. Uh, this is just kind of to start everything. Now let's give this actual size first. And we'll do this by adding these three lines. So here we're going to be creating a rectangle and this is using panel.rectransform. Um, and it's going to have size of 300 by 200. Uh, I just decided to do this uh, using these particular values simply because it looked a little bit better for me, but you can totally change them to whatever you want. And then the position is going to be defined as uh, 110 minus screen size divided by two. And here it's going to be zero. So if I run this right now, you will see that I will now have a very, very hard to kind of see at first panel right here. So this is kind of what we're going to be using to display information. That's really, really simple, very easy to do. Uh, and these commands will practically never change. So you can kind of just copy this and use it. Uh, just change the size and the location. So if I move these uh, numbers, it's going to be either wider or higher or taller that is. And this value here defines the actual altitude or the height on the screen. Uh, so, so if I want to change this a little bit, what I can do is let's make it a little bit wider actually double the size and then let's also move it a little bit higher and maybe to the other side of the screen or not to the just to a little bit to the right it's going to be a little bit more right uh, so that's kind of what it looks like now it's much bigger than before I don't really like this it's a little bit too big for me so I'm going to go back to the original value so we're going to just command Z everything to how it was before so let's add some text here and for any kind of text, uh, you might want to have these four lines. So this is basically a panel with add text. We're going to give this thrust uh, as a kind of a name, I guess. Uh, we're also are going to have the uh, position for this particular text, color, which you can change to whatever you want. Um, this is in RGB, so it's from like zero to 255 or one to 256. I think it's one to 256. Uh, and lastly, text size. And so, if I run this right now, you'll see that now there's some text here. So that's good so far. Uh, what's next? Well, let's also add a button, which I think I'm gonna add above the text, which is basically uh, added using add button. It's going to be a full throttle button and it's going to be at this position here. Let's see how this looks. And okay, so we have a button. This might be a little bit too big, but we can change this later. And this button is actually pressable, but it doesn't do anything yet. So I'm gonna show you how to assign things to it in uh, about a minute. And because I actually want this to be a functional kind of a window that shows me stuff, like basically telemetry, I'm also going to add speed and altitude here. And we are then going to uh, position them a little bit below each other. So this has to be changed here. And if I run this, it looks like this. Okay, I actually think I need to change this a little bit. It's a little bit too wide. It doesn't look as cool as I thought it would. Uh, let's make this 200 by 150 and perfect look at that it's just a perfect size there we go this i actually really like maybe a little bit too tall but that's okay 
Uh, so we're going to keep this here the way it is, but it doesn't actually do anything yet because it doesn't read any telemetry, not, no commands are assigned to it yet. So we now need to create a loop that will actually send the telemetry to all of those values. And I'm going to start by basically adding these three lines. Um, one of them is going to be a stream that basically checks for when button is clicked. Uh, one of them is the typical command for the vessel itself. This is to activate the vessel. We, we're using this for pretty much every single script we have so far. And one of them is to define the frame of reference. In this case, it's going to be surface frame of reference as opposed to orbital frame of reference. Uh, and now this is where the loop starts. And our loop is going to be this big. And that's really kind of pretty much the whole script. Um, in the loop, we have two things happening. One of them is if the button is clicked, basically if the person presses the button, and this is actually an event that is being checked by this thing right here, uh, then the vessel control throttle is set to one. In other words, the vessel goes full blast and then the button is set to false. Uh, button click set is set to false, meaning that it turns off the button event. Uh, this is not the best way of doing this in Python, but I think other languages kind of do it this way. Uh, but we're going to stick with this for now because that's how they have it in the tutorial as well. And the most important part is here. Uh, next part, uh, this is coming from these variables we defined earlier. We're going to have uh, this command called content, which will define each of those text boxes and give them a specific text inside. Now, if you don't know how this works in Python, if you put a percentage sign here, or a percentage sign D in this case, um, it will look for whatever is after the string in uh, in this area right here. So it essentially says whatever is after the uh, percentage sign, put it into here. Now, once again, this is not the best way of doing this uh, because Python has something called um, F strings and a lot of other ways of doing this much easier, much more elegantly. But for the sakes of this tutorial, we're going to stick with this because once again, that's kind of how they have it in the KRPC tutorial as well. Um, here we're measuring thrust, dividing this by 1000 to get uh, kilonewtons. We're measuring flight speed and we're measuring uh, flight surface altitude. Or should we get mean altitude? No, I think surface altitude is much, much better. And then we're sleeping this command for 0.1 seconds. Um, and doing it again over and over and over. So let's run this. The script is now run. Nothing is displayed here because it doesn't, it's not supposed to display anything, but you can see it kind of reads the script every millisecond. And so now this means that if I press this button, my rocket is going to go full blast uh, ahead and these values will start changing. Let's test it and, oh yeah, space bar. There we go. And look at that. Altitude is measured, speed is measured, and thrust is measured as well. And that's because we press this button here. So this essentially allows you to create these little um, individual boxes, or I guess kind of like inter user interface with your own buttons, with your own controls, with your own um, data being displayed. And of course your own um, lines and graphs and whatever you want to put in there, it's totally possible using uh, not only this mod, but actually Python or any other programming language you want to use. So in this sense, uh, this is probably one of the best mods out there because it's so uh, dynamic and it allows you to create whatever you want, really. Uh, now, for me, I'm only going to use absolute minimum just to display uh, the actual telemetry that I need because I don't want to be going into uh, Flight Engineer. Oh, look at that. My rocket is flipping again. And I don't really want to... Um... Oh, not the right button. Let's separate. Let's save Valentina Kerman. She needs to survive this. Uh, so yeah, because I don't really want to use these other mods because well for one look at this It's too complicated and I only want to display things. I need to know about like for example altitude and speed, right? I don't really need much else and uh, if you're transferring to moon for example You might want to know phase angle or whatever else uh, is important for uh, actual orbital transfers Other than that though, that's kind of all I wanted to show you This is how you make your own UI in Kerbal Space Program and this is the script and also the um, actual mod that you can use for it. The script is in the description below. Check it out, try it yourself, and let me know what you think. Come back tomorrow, or actually come back to the next part, it's not going to be tomorrow, uh, to learn how to actually now create a script that launches your rocket, but also a script that keeps track of telemetry and then modifies your rocket speed and also inclination. 
I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.